Hi, welcome to this Corporate Miles video on income tax. In this video, we're going to look at what income tax is and we're going to answer some typical questions on it. When you earn money, you have to pay income tax and the amount of income tax you owe will depend on how much money you earn. In the UK, we have a progressive tax system, which means that if you earn a low amount of money, you might not have to pay any income tax at all. If you earn a bit more, you might have to pay some income tax. And if you earn a lot of money, you'll have to pay a lot of income tax. Now, in this video, I'm going to use different tax rates, and I'm, I've made these tax rates up. I've used them as examples because I don't want this video to go out of date. Quite often, tax rates change, and I don't want to try and sort of make a video that matches those because six months or a year later it might change. So these tax rates that I've made up are examples just to show you how tax is calculated. So here's an example of some tax rates, and we've got four bands here. We've got a personal allowance which means that up to £13,000, the tax rate is 0%. Now, obviously, if you work at 0% of something, that's zero, which means if somebody earns up to £13,000, and including £13,000, they'll pay no tax, no income tax at all. Then there's the basic rate of tax, which is for people that earn between £13,000 and a penny and up to £50,000, and they'll pay 20% off the amount of money over £13,000. So if they earned £14,000, for example, the first £13,000, they'll pay no tax, and then the next 1000 they'll pay 20%. Then there's the higher rate of tax, which is for people that earn between £50,000 and a penny and up to £150,000, and they'll pay a tax rate of 40%. And then there's the additional rate, which is for people that earn over £150,000, very lucky people, and for them, they'll have to pay a tax rate of 50%. So this is an example of uh, some tax bans. They're not the real figures, but they're pretty close to them at the minute, but obviously this could change in the future. So let's have a look at our first question. So our first question says, Dylan earns £9,500. How much tax does he have to pay? So if we have a look at our bands, the personal allowance is up to £13,000. So that means that on the first £13,000, the tax rate is 0%. In other words, no money is owed. So because Dylan earns less than that, that means that he'll have to pay no income tax. He'll owe no money in income tax. Okay, next question. So let's have a look at our next question. So our next question says, Leona earns £30,000. How much income tax does she have to pay? Well, if we look at our table, the first £13,000, the tax rate is 0%, her personal allowance. That means she'll have to pay no tax on the first £13,000. Then, because she earns £30,000, the rest of her salary will be in here in the basic rate, which goes between £13,000 and £50,000, and the tax rate there is 20%. So that means that Leona will have to pay 0% on the first £13,000 and then 20% on the rest of it. Now, to work out the rest of it, we'll take our £30,000 and we'll take away the £13,000, which she doesn't have to pay tax on, and that leaves £17,000 that Leone has to pay tax on. And the tax rate is 20%. So if we work out 20% of £17,000, that'll be how much tax, how much income tax Leone have to pay. Well, if this is a calculator question, we could type £17,000 multiplied by 0.2, that would tell us 20% of £17,000, or we could just say, well, 10% is equal to £1,700, and 20% would be double that, which would be equal to £3,400. So that means that Leona has to pay £3,400 in income tax. Okay, let's have a look at our next question. So the next question says, Jasmine earns £92,000. How much income tax does she have to pay? Well, if we look at our table, her first £13,000, she'll have to pay no income tax. Then, between £13,000 and £50,000, she has to pay 20%. And then the rest of her salary, between £50,000 and £92,000, she'll have to pay 40%. So first of all, let's work out the 20% of the amount of money that's earned between £13,000 and £50,000. So let's take our £50,000 and subtract £13,000. And that would be equal to £37,000. And off that money, Jasmine needs to pay 20% of that in income tax. So 20% of £37,000 would be, well, 10% would be equal to 3700 So 20% would be equal to 7400 So that means that she'll have to pay 7400 on the amount of money that she earned between £13,000 and £50,000. Okay, next. Now we've got our higher rate. And that is 40% of the amount of money that's earned between £50,000 and £92,000. So if we take our £50,000 away from our £92,000, that'll tell you how much money Jasmine needs to pay the higher rate of tax on. So let's take our £92,000 and subtract £50,000. And that will give us £42,000. Now Jasmine needs to pay 40% of that in income tax. So 10% of that would be equal to 4200 and then 40% of that, 
that would be equal to, well, we just multiply this by four. So four times 4,000 is 16,000, and four times 200 is 800. So that's 16,800. And then to work out how much the income tax Jasmine has to pay all together, we just add together the 7,400 and the 16,800. So let's work that out. So 16,800 plus 7,400 gives us, so zero plus zero is zero, zero plus zero is zero, eight plus four is 12, so put the two down, carry the one, six plus seven is 13, plus one is 14, so put the four down, carry the one, and one plus one is two. So Jasmine needs to pay 24,200 pound, and that's it. Okay, let's have a look at one last question. Okay, so let's have a look at our last question. And our last question is a calculator question, and we've been told in a country, the amount of income tax paid depends on how much money is earned that year. And we've been told that 0% is paid on the first £11,000, 20% is paid on the next £19,000, 35% is paid on the next £40,000, and 55% is paid on any additional income. And Jack's salary last year was 39400 and we've been asked to work out how much income tax he has to pay. Now, because he pays 0% on the first £11,000, that means that for the first £11,000, Jack doesn't need to pay any tax at all. So let's take that £11,000 away from his total salary to see how much money he'll have to pay tax on. So if we take 11000 away from 39400 we get 28400 So you'll have to pay a tax on that twenty. £28,400. Now he has to pay 20% on the next 19000 So because there was 28400 that'll be all 19000 So we're going to need to work out 20% of 19000 and then he'll pay 35% on the rest. So let's take our £19,000 and we want to work out 20%. And because we've got a calculator, we can just multiply it by the multiplier. And a quick way to work out 20% of a number really easily is to multiply by 0.2. And when we do that, we get 3,800. So Jack needs to pay 3,800 on that 19,000 pound. Now he needed to pay 35% on the rest. So if we take our 28,400 and we take away 19,000, that will leave 9,400 pound. And Jack needs to pay 35% of that. So to work out 35% of 9,400 really easily, we take our 9,400 and we multiply it by 0.35. And that would give us 3,290 pound. So Jack needs to pay the 3,800 pound for the 20% of the 19,000 earned between 11,000 and 30,000. And then he needs to pay the 35% on the 9,400 pound. So if we add those two amounts together, if we add together the 3,800 and the 3,290 pound, that would tell us a total amount of income tax Jack needs to pay. And that would be 7,090 pound. And that's how much income tax Jack needs to pay. And that's it.